Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Our topic is about hashing. Uh, my name is Muhammad Syafiq bin Ramli. My teammate says Ahmad Syafiq bin Azri and Muhammad Nahim bin Haris. So we proceed to our overview. Hashing is a what is hashing? Hashing is a generating a value of values from a string of a text using a mathematical function. Hashing is also a method of sorting key value in the database table in an efficient manner. The have function is used to index the original value or key then use it later each time the data associated with the value or a key is to be retrieved. Thus, hashing is always is a one-way operation. So our project objective is first to understand the idea of solving hashing problem and correction problem to solve the problem of students by identifying their understanding and difficulty when facing the hashing problem to improvise the method of solving and calculating the hashing problem and the last one is to strengthen the student abilities to solve the hashing. Okay, we jump to the hashing. What is hashing? Hashing contains of three attributes. First one is key. Key represents the data. And then we, we proceed to the hash key. Hash key, hashing. Hashing has hash function which contains of three modular operation, mid square and folding. In our syllabus, we only learn about modular operation. And then the data we will pass after undergo the hash function and we pass to hash table this is the example of hash table in content of index and k okay. basically is same like a array table which have the index on the top so hashing hash function modular operation the default formula for hashing is hash k equal to k mod m k represent the key to be inserted and m is the size of array as we can see in our table the m is equal to 10 because our size of array is 10 and the key to be inserted is 97 so we use the formula to insert 97 97 mod 10 equal to 7 so the issue in the hash table initially empty so we can insert 97 in 7 index of the hash table. So next, the collection handling. What if we insert another attribute, another key, a seventy, and we calculate? So the index are uh, the same, and this will lead to collection. In hash table, we cannot contain the redundant data. So what we we'll do? We use the separate chaining and open tracing. So spread chaining, as we can see, uh, after insertion of 18, 98, and 21, we insert 58 and 68. They will be collision at uh, index of 8. So we use the linked list to solve the problem. So uh, in the linked list, we call the chaining. So next, the linear probing. The formula of linear probing is HK equal to k mod m plus i mod l i represent the index uh, the index that we have we want to calculate so inserting k equal to 17 so we want to insert 17 undergo the formula for linear probing and we uh, found that the index for index 0 the answer is 7 where if we can see 7 is already occupied so we need to increase the i we need to increase the i as we increase the i equal to one uh, we calculate it again and we get the answer of uh, 17 key data can be inserted in index of index hash table 8 so uh, index x are uh, initially empty so we can insert 17 in here so we proceed to the correlative probing for correlative probing formula hk equal to k mod m plus i square mod m the difference between linear is just the i we square the i so we insert for example we insert k equal to 28 undergo the formula we got the answer 8 as we can see 8 already occupied so we increase the i we increase the i and don't forget to square the the i and we got the answer index 9 
so we index now is empty so we can insert 28 in here so we proceed to the double hashing double hashing is the most difficult part because we have to double the hashing we have to hash double we, we have to do the hashing double time so in here we can see k mod m plus i bracket r minus bracket k mod r bracket bracket mod m what is r r is a previous prime number of m uh, if we uh, our m is equal to 10 because our array is size is equal to 10 so the previous prime number before 10 is 7 so we want to insert 58 we calculate as usual starting from i equal to 0 and we got the answer is 8 as we can see edge already occupied by 17 so correction happens we need to increase the i as we increase the i we can see the answer is 3 so 3 is initially empty so we get uh, add 58 into index of 3 so that's all for calculation the application of hashing in real life first example of compiler 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 use the hash table to keep track on declared variable and next example the online spell checker after prehashing the entire dictionary one can check each word in constant time and print out the misspelled word and order their appearance in the game so that's all from us thank you for watching assalamualaikum